Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Aspiring Without Attachment, the 30th practice in my book, Just One Thing. Uh, sometimes there's this idea that we can go through life without having any goals whatsoever and as if that's somehow equivalent to enlightenment. It couldn't be possibly true. Uh, the nervous system of any animal, and especially as complicated a one as ourselves, is continually pursuing various goals. The only question is, are we pursuing wholesome ones or unwholesome ones? And then, how are we pursuing them? So let's assume that you're focused on wholesome desires like the welfare of other people or your own welfare or the welfare of the planet uh, or ordinary pleasures like having a cookie or relaxing uh, with some good television at the end of the day. So how do we pursue these wholesome goals without tipping into drivenness or craving or fixation around them, which then creates suffering and harm for ourselves and other people? It's a high art, isn't it, to be able to aspire without attachment. A couple of good ways to do that. Uh, one is to be aware of that sort of sense of fixation that arises in the mind when we tip from liking or disliking into wanting or wanting not. There are different neural systems in the brain that handle liking and wanting. See if you can like what's pleasant or dislike what's unpleasant without tipping into any kind of drivenness about what to do about it. Sure, reach for the pleasant cookie, pull your hand away from the unpleasant stove, but see if you can relax a sense of fixation or must or insistence about it. And that will help you disengage from that kind of driven wanting. And then will also help you to aspire without attachment.